Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dragon97 once again, and I'm back with another series. This game is called Lego Alpha Team, and it's actually a really, really old game. Uh, it's been f released in 2000, I believe. But yeah, I remember this game from in my past when I was six years old and I was playing this game when I had broke my leg so I couldn't do anything so I played this game days and days and as far as I can remember it was awesome so I just wanna see how it goes and I don't really care about the views and stuff but I just wanna play this game because it's awesome so yeah basically what this game is it's a Lego game as you can see uh, sorry about the bad quality actually can be higher as you can see it's old so that's as high as it gets but it's a puzzle game let's uh, remove that one that one I just tried a little bit to see if it worked because I had some problems starting it up but it's all fine now so yeah let's start this howdy chief We've discovered our old foe, Ogle, is up to his dirty tricks again. This time, he's making evil orbs. They turn regular folk into mindless zombies. Ogle has built three top secret bases around the globe to manufacture these evil orbs, and is manning them with an army of zombie workers. We don't know what his big, big plan is, but we do know one thing. It's big. Five Alpha Team members have been sent in to infiltrate. Our experts in explosives, lasers, electricity, motors, and ropes. Unfortunately, without your leadership, they were no match for Ogle and his zombies. They have all been captured and their equipment scattered. There's now only one team member left, Dash, the motion expert. He's preparing to sneak into Ogle's bases. You'll be back here at headquarters, guiding him with your control panel. Yeah. You'll be deciding where to set up the equipment, and then you'll give Dash the go signal. From that point on, Dash will do all the work. Our objectives. Infiltrate deep into Ogle's bases. Find and rescue the other team members and their equipment. Stop the production of evil orbs. Dash and the rest of the team are wearing special belts that protect them from the evil orbs. Anytime they see an evil orb, they can deactivate it by grabbing it. I'll be with you at all times to give you information about each place we visit. That's it for the briefing, but before we head out to rescue the team, we need to run through some training exercises first. See you in the training area. Roger Dodger, over and out. Alright, so our mission is to... Welcome to the training area. Oop. Click your mouse button to begin the training exercise. TV here, at your service. If at any time during this training session you forget what I've asked you to do, click on me, and I'll repeat myself. Click on me now. Really? <laughs> TV here, at your service. If at any time... Oh, you, you've heard that. So oh, let's good. move on. <laughs> I thought I'm he was going to repeat it again. I'm going to run you the basics of using the controls along the bottom of your screen. The first thing I want to show you is the menu button in the lower left corner. Click on the flashing menu button. Good. This is the mission menu. It displays choices you may want to access while you're playing. Click on keep playing and we'll continue with your training. Good. Now I'm going to show you how to move around. Click on the flashing change view button to move your camera. Okay, click on it again. Well done. Click the other change view button. Good. Now I'm going to tell you how Easy to look enough. around. For this, you use Probably the pan button. Click on the pan button yep. and keep the mouse button held down. Ooh. Then, move your mouse around to look all around the space. Try it now. Ooh, that's Great. Strange. To move forward or backwards, use the in out button. To move forward, Click on the in out button. Great! Now try moving backwards. Well done! There's still one more way to move around. Just move your cursor all the way to the edge of the screen. When you do, you will slide in that direction. Try Nothing it good! Now move your cursor to the right edge. Alright! 
Now move your cursor to the top edge. Well done. Now move your cursor to the bottom edge. Yahoo! Now you know how to move around. There's yeah. one more button I want to show you. But for this one, I'll need Dash to help us. Dash won't take a step until you hit the go button. Click on the flashing go. Yeehaw! Look at him go! Now, if you want a closer look, click on the button with Dash. Now you're following directly behind him. You can also go back to the far away view you were at earlier. Click on the good. If you don't want the camera to follow the character, click on the crosshair button. Well done. Dash will keep running forever until you tell him to stop. Click on the flashing red. Well done. You're taken to these controls like a duck to water. Now, let's learn about using some of Dash's equipment. This is a direction tile. You can move the direction tile onto any studded surface. Try moving it now. Click on the tile. Great job! Now I'll show you how to rotate it to point it in a different direction. First, click on... Good. Click on the flash. Every time you click the rotate button, you will rotate the tile. Click on the rotate button to turn the direction tile so it points towards the stairs. That's what I had. Good. Now click on the information. When you do, you will zoom in. When you're done looking at it, click anywhere on the screen. Are we done looking at it? <laughs> Are we? If you ever want help placing a piece of equipment, yeah. one last thing. Now that you have placed the direction tile. Go. <laughs> I've had enough of tutorial. Yeah! All right. That's so, it for our training. Let's begin the adventure. So I have to move him We're around on our way to, to Ogle free Island his Laboratory. Crunch and Radia are trapped inside. We need to rescue them and then shut down the island's main power supply. We're in. Use direction tiles to guide Dash to the plunger lock at the other end of the room. Welcome to my island, Dash. I hope your visit is a pleasant one. Your friends who dropped in earlier liked it so much they decided to stay. Permanently. <laughs> Fool! You'll never open my security doors. Your rescue efforts will be futile. Okay, well, this one's pretty easy, I guess. Oh. There we go. Alright, that was an easy one. I think the first ones are pretty easy, but I know for a fact we did it. that it will be harder. So, next mission, let's go. Another locked door. You only have four direction tiles, so look for the shortest path. Well, since this doesn't make it, I'll probably have to move this one over here. Flip it around. Zoom out. Move this one over there. Flip it around. And move this one over there. Go! Stop. <laughs> Forgot one. Okay, go. Oh, yeah. We did it! Next mission. Why not? We have the time. Look for a trick path. Keep Dash away from the zombie workers. They will ignore him as long as he doesn't get too close. The hidden hop. Interesting. So I have some of those pads. Now, give me a good screen. Um. Let's see. One, two, three, four. If I move this one here, one, two, three, four, and then I won't make it. One, two, three. 
I wonder if I can make this jump. I don't think I can. But I can always try and I hope that guy doesn't see me. Okay, place him there. Place him there so he runs up the stairs. Get another plate and plop it down over there. So he jumps down, I hope. And then he comes at this plate which will make him go at the bottom. Oh yeah! We did it! Next mission! Finish this game in one Move the yellow <laughs> no, stairs to help Dash climb that big old pile of boxes to get to the plunger lock. Avoid the guard. Interesting. Um, I can probably move this there, like. Yeah, like this, so I can save up on some plates, then he goes up, to the right, does not need this one probably, he just jumps down. Now I'll need a plate for him to go up these stairs, uh, I wonder if he can just jump down. I hope so. That should work. Now get this there. Put it there. And another plate. Which will bring him there. Very easy so far. Run past on the plate. Stare up and turn and hit the button. We did it. Okay. You found an evil orb. If Dash grabs it on his way to the door, the zombies will disappear. Okay. So I'll probably have to take that. This stair will have to go there, probably. Let's see. Yep. Oh man. Um I wonder. Evil orb. <sighs> Not evil orb. That thing. Turn. Will this would this work? Jump. Oh no. Oh no. Dang it. Missed it. Okay, let's try again. Jump. Mm -hmm. Okay, he turns and jumps. Falls down. Ah. Dang it. I have to move it further to this side. Now it should work. Get the orb, turn around, jump again. Yes, people are gone, walks up the stairs and hits the button. 
Oh yeah. I love this music. We, we did, did it! it. <laughs> Next mission. Help Quietly. Dash bounce his way across the room on the trampolines. Remember, the longer the fall, the higher the bounce. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder. Does he jump on that? And does he go up? Yes, he does. Okay. Good to know. Now get another trampoline. Put him there. Okay, this is fairly easy. Like that. And then he just goes down and a jump thing right there. Because he must not hit the zombie guy. Okay, he makes it perfectly fine. Jump and bounce and we did it again. He did it! <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's do one more. Set up the slides so Dash can get past the guards or over the guards. Okay. So, this is my end goal. That's probably what needs to happen, so I can slide and hit the button. So I need to make sure that I get up here. Um, let's flip him around. Ah, I see. This one needs to go to the other side. Flip around. I probably need to, once I'm up here, I'll go down over this guy. And then make a turn. And then over here, make an. How many turns can I make? Not a whole lot. Because I need one over here. Hmm. Let's turn our camera a little. <laughs> Wait, move this one closer, flip this around, can I fit that? Yes, I can, and now put a blade right there and turn it around, let's try it. Number one. <laughs> yeah, that's way off. Okay, that should work. Slide it down. We're on up the stairs. Go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. Worked. Very good. Okay. Does he hit the plate? Yes. There we go. We did it. And 
gets this level once again. We did it! Awesome. But that's gonna do it for this first episode. Yeah. Um I hope you liked it. I surely did. I still enjoyed this game as I remember it from the past. So yeah, I'll see you in this second episode of Lego Alpha Team. See you later.